in this lesson we'll be looking at uh, some more GSAT past paper questions, math questions. Now in this exam question they're asking us what is the sum of 110, uh, 3102 and 5. Now the word sum here if, if you notice I've underlined it in red the word sum means to add. So they're asking when we are when 110 plus 3102 and 5 is added what is the result or what is the sum of these numbers now um, this is pretty easy again remember um, and you can check our playlist on the laws uh, on the laws of arithmetic and where we express the fact that when adding addition is commutative and the word commutative really means that it doesn't matter the order that you add them the, the any order that these numbers are added you'll get the same result hence okay so let, let's move quickly now I'm going to take the 110 so I have 1 1 0 okay so since I have three digits obviously then the zero would be in the units column the digit to the far to the f <coughs> to the far right would be in the units column then this w the first one here would be in the tens column and this would be in the hundreds column now the next number I have is 3102 so the two obviously would be in the units column so I must place that exactly under the the zero the zero here this zero here will fall in the tens column, the one would fall in the hundreds column, and the three would fall in the thousand column. Now if you notice I only have a single digit here, five, and when you have a single digit that obviously will fall in the units column. Okay? So there I have my numbers and I'm going to add them up now. Remember it's addition. So we can look at it quickly how it relates to the place value chart that we have up here. Okay, so I would have a 1. Here I would have a 1, 1, 0. And if you notice the column, same column there falls in. Then I would have a 3, 1, 0, 2. Then I would have a 5. Okay, and I'm going to add up all these numbers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say 5 plus 2 it will give me 7. Plus 0 is still 7. So my answer here, I, in my units column, I would have gotten a 7. Okay, and in my tens column now, I would have 1 plus 0 will give me a 1. So I carried on my 1 there. And in my hundreds column, I would have a 1 plus 1 will give me a 2, so I put a 2 there. And in my thousandth column, I only have a 3, so I would have to bring back down, down that 3. So for my answer, I would have 3,217. 3, Alright, so my answer, my answer, or let me use another color, that's a bit too fancy, so my answer is equal to 3217 so when these numbers are added um, let's just bring it down here 3217 all right so here my the appropriate answer here would be a 3217 so this would be incorrect B would be incorrect D would be incorrect and also C would be incorrect all right bye bye